Scary Mysteries Twisted Twos, Lauren Spearer, and Alien City Found. Tales of hauntings, murder, and scary mysteries. Every week, Twisted Twos dives into a pair of uniquely terrifying true stories that are worthy of a more in-depth look. For this week, we focus on the sudden disappearance of a young woman from New York and the mysterious structure found on the dark side of the moon. Get ready for Scary Mysteries Twisted Twos. Number 1. Lauren Spearer She was highly intoxicated. People who last saw then 20-year-old Lauren Spearer knew she could barely even function. A suburban New York native, Lauren had been living in Bloomington, Indiana for college. Unfortunately, it's also here where she ended up getting entangled in alcohol and drug use. On June 3rd of 2011, she was seen partying heavily at Jason Rosenbaum's place, another Indiana University student. Then at around 1.46 a.m., she left the party with a boy named Corey Rossman. Later on, the two were seen on CCTV at Kilroy Sports Bar in downtown Bloomington having more drinks. When they left, Lauren was so intoxicated that she left her cell phone and shoes at the bar. It was around 2.30 a.m. when they left Kilroy's and headed to the small plaza apartments where Lauren lived. Once there, several students, including Zach Oaks, who also knew Lauren, saw how drunk she was and asked her if she was okay. Apparently, an exchange between Oaks and Rossman happened, and the two got into a fight after Oaks suggested Rossman take the girl home right away. Later on, Rossman said that Oaks punched him, causing him to lose his memory of the night entirely. At around 2.40 a.m., Lauren and Rossman were seen on surveillance heading to his townhouse up the street. Part of the way there, he even carried her because she could barely walk. Once they were at his apartment, Rossman, who was also heavily drunk, felt sick and went to bed. His old roommate then took Lauren back to Jason's place, where she had been earlier in the evening. It's there that apparently Jason tells Lauren to lay down on the couch and get some sleep so she can just go home in the morning but she refused and said that she wanted to keep going. Lauren then left the apartment and Jason witnessed her walk up to 11th Street back to her apartment complex, but she never made it home. Lauren was wearing a t-shirt, black leggings, and was barefoot since she had left her shoes at Kilroy's. Later that morning, Lauren's boyfriend of three years, Jesse Wolf, who said he was at home all night watching the NBA Finals as Lauren partied, texted her phone. Someone from the bar replied to his message, and it was him that reported her missing. During the investigation, authorities tried to piece together Lauren's timeline of activities. In August of 2011, they looked for clues to her disappearance at the Sycamore Ridge landfill, doing a nine-day search for items that might have belonged to her. Although an extensive investigation was done, no one could figure out what exactly happened to the 20-year-old. Over the years, several theories speculating what happened began popping up. One of them is that the men she had spent the evening with might have had something to do with her disappearance. Lauren's family even filed a civil lawsuit against three of them, citing they were responsible for her, but the case was later dismissed. Some officers think that Lauren's problematic drug and alcohol abuse likely contributed to her disappearance. In fact, just nine months prior, she had been arrested for public intoxication. Lauren also had a rare heart condition, which could have added to the danger of her drug use. Others theorized she may have been taken by a complete stranger. Surveillance video actually did spot a white truck in the area that could have belonged to a recently released convict. The stranger might have seen Lauren as the perfect target, especially with her in an inebriated state. Later on, a man in prison commented to a fellow inmate as they were watching Lauren's story on TV saying, Man, I knew the guys that did that. The inmate said Lauren had died at a house party after overdosing on drugs. The students got scared and decided to dispose of her body. Investigators looked into this angle as a possibility given Lauren's history of drug use and heart problems, but aside from the felon's statement, no concrete evidence proving this was the case was found. Today, the family is still hoping to find answers as to what happened to Lauren. While their parents believe their daughter is dead, they still want closure in some form and know where she is and what happened to her. Number 2. Alien City Found 
It's no secret the dark side of the moon has been the subject of fascination for many of us, but for decades, even centuries, one general idea simply won't go away, and that is that the dark side of the moon is home to alien structures in even ancient alien cities. As far back as the 1700s, Sir Frederick William Herschel, composer, astronomer, and eventual discoverer of Uranus, claimed to have seen mysterious lights on the dark side of the moon. And it's not just him. Countless other UFO believers and conspiracy theorists believe NASA and the government are hiding something there. According to believers, NASA and the U.S. government are keeping the information of a moon base, or at least ancient structures on the moon, under wraps. Some accuse them of scrubbing out the photos or the videos during the Apollo missions or those taken by satellites just to make sure nothing is seen by the public. Officially, NASA states the dark side of the moon is filled with craters. It's rougher terrain compared to the area of the moon constantly facing Earth and the one we're used to seeing. But accounts of former military and intelligence officials say NASA is hiding something in this area. A technician from Air Force Tactical Air Command Center in Langley, Virginia, Carl Wolf, claimed he and his colleagues were tasked to analyze data from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. He said they saw artificial structures photographed on the dark side of the moon, and that there were radar antennas including huge structures created by intelligent beings. More recently, a video was released on YouTube by Scott C. Waring. In it, he claims to have spotted different structures on the dark side of the moon. Using NASA images of the area, he found these unusual structures located at the Giordano Bruno Crater. He states that what makes these possible man-made structures instead of natural formations is that many of these seem to have highly reflective surfaces as well as right angles. He points out parts of the image he believes to be structures or remnants of crashed ships. He adds that everything looks broken and old as if they've been there for a very long time, covered in lunar dust. To add to the conspiracy, even some of the Apollo missions to the moon are said to have captured unusual structures and even possibly UFOs while they were visiting. For instance, a photograph taken by Apollo 11 astronauts reveals what looks to be a huge tower structure on the surface of the moon. While skeptics argue these so-called structures are nothing more than a trick of the light or eye, UFO believers are adamant that the truth is being hidden from the public. Whichever camp is right, there's no denying the mystery of the far side of the moon will continue to intrigue us until we advance far enough to explore the area in depth. So there were two of the most strange and mysterious stories around. The world can be a crazy place and Twisted Twos is sure to show you why. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe and check out some of our other videos we know you'll love. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.